The ball on the tee. We're set for football. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. Space to maneuver at the 40. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. That one good for 33 and a first. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. A tale of two extremes. First carry, he went for a bundle. His second goes backward. And how many times have we seen that happen? Because you get that big carry, and you come back, and you're all fired up. And sometimes you force a run a little bit, right? Trying to break up that big carry again. And instead, it works opposite. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So they bring out their punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. Yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. On play action, it's Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. From the middle breakdown by the defense, you've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards. So make it second and five. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. From the 41, Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And he hits the tight end. It's Deion Sims. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. We're scoreless after one. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second and one coming up. On 
And second down, Freeman. And he's in. Touchdown, the Eagles. A three-yard touchdown run as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. Dawson able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends in a touchdown run from Devontae Freeman. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. That one is caught by Hunt. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Pulled in at the 24. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. But well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. On second and 12, Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And it is true, you can draft the fastest, you can draft the most athletic guys, but if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, but for the incompletion. Yeah, had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch though, falls incomplete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. On first down, Mahomes. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives him a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit, they huddle up, talk it over, then they get a chance. And this is caught inside the five. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keep him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Devontae Freeman with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So here are our visitors to take over on offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target, and it's third down. On third down, here's Hunt. And they will battle him up behind the line, and now will they use a timeout? A three-yard loss, fourth down now. Right now in the second quarter on the defensive side, they got to feel pretty good about what they're doing. They should embrace the feeling they have now, embrace the way that they're playing, and continue that through the half. I know defensive coordinators, sometimes they overthink it, start wondering how they're going to be attacked. Just keep doing what you're doing because it's working. And just a net of 31 here, 40-yard punt, 9 on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A final shot before break, Freeman. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. So two quarters. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. This fielded at the two. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on. Here's what we Tyler Boyd. He's gonna go. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Tyler Boyd. 66 yards, and the Eagles able to push further out in front. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Dawson tacks on the point after, and that makes the score 21 to zip. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, a long touchdown pass into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Mahomes now on first down. His throw incomplete. Well, struggles continue. Open targets, and he keeps missing them. Pressing way too much. He may have a big arm, but until he learns how to harness it and have some touch, he's going to continue to struggle. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. 
Throwing now is Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. Just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. This is taken at the 15. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader. Making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you judge how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing. Because well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Lorenzo Alexander wreaking the defensive havoc. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. They do go for it. It's Mahomes. He's got his man, Boyd. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Every play is supposed to get a player's best effort. But on fourth down, that really increases the stakes, doesn't it? What about that catch? Heck of an effort, picking up the first. And now that team has to be motivated going forward. They just saw a great effort there. They want to make sure it pays off. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Freeman again. And an alley to run. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. I got you. I got you. Shoot. Shoot. Hey, Sunday on Sunday on Sunday on Sunday. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that passes. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. He gets this one to Boyd. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 16 and an Eagle first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. 
Hall bringing it in. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Devontae Freeman, 26 yards. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You can see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here we go. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And that may just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week, he's smiling. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there. Grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here on this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo going Exactly. Forward. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, yet. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. A gain there of 30 big ones. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage, and you break... And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Brian Poole. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself. You still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me.